previously on Trog. All right, fingers crossed. Moment of truth, third time's the charm. It's only the second time for you since I cut out the Ridsbury Pie 2, but let's see. Oh no. <laughs> running really behind. The server is six ticks, nine ticks. All right, it's not great, but it's not terrible. It's honestly not too bad though. And there's probably mods you can use like um, sodium. Maybe I can try that uh, to make it run better. But, um, I mean, I can spawn all my creepers and they're spawning in. Oh, 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 maybe not. Uh oh, they've all frozen. <laughs> Hello, Trogolodites, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's episode, we are going to be revisiting running Minecraft servers on a Raspberry Pi. In the previous episode, I discovered that we discovered that the minimum Pi version that could just about run a modern, you know, fully fledged official Minecraft version was the Raspberry Pi 3. So that's what I'm going to be using again today. The Model 3 one gigabyte with one gigabyte of RAM. That's going to be a limitation, I'm sure. And uh, you guys gave me some pretty good suggestions in the comments of that video that I should probably try to run Paper MC. So not the official Minecraft server version, but this modified version that's supposed to be significantly lighter weight and more optimized for low-end hardware like this. And then there's some other optimization mods I can try on top of that um, that might help improve performance. And last but not least, I can just overclock the thing to the gills, assuming that my power supply is up to the task, so. We'll try that, but yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get um, Minecraft a Minecraft server to run without lagging behind on the Raspberry Pi 3. On to the video! Okay, so what I've done is I've installed the Raspberry Pi OS onto the Raspberry Pi 3. I then started basically following the, you know, the Raspberry Pi uh, instructions I used in the last video. I then, instead of um, installing the version of Java they tell you to install, which is this, um, because we're going to be running, because we're running Paper MC instead of the regular Minecraft, and I want to try to run the actual latest version, not whatever older version I had on there before. I'm going to be installing an up-to-date version of Java, because that was our problem in the previous video, if you remember. I kept running into, oh no, your version of Java is too old, we expect this version of Java, or whatever. So hopefully, by running all of this, basically, um, it has the most recent version of Java installed. Alright, so... Um, in order to run a Minecraft server, I need to have a functioning Minecraft client. And for some reason, on Fedora, um, it doesn't work. <laughs> Whatever the community launcher thing is, it will not render the stupid sign-in portal thing. It just goes to a gray screen, I don't know why. I tried it on two different versions, so um, that's why whoops, we're going to be running on uh, the subject of uh, performance is not great, getting 24, 19, 15 frames per second by limited, not even that heavily on the GPU either, it's just CPU related stuff, so not even due to chunk loading either, it's just slow. <laughs> um. All right, so now that we have our client is working on the subject and our server is working on the, uh, it's still working. Okay, 
And our server is working on the Raspberry Pi 3 in a, the most precarious situation. Um, let us see if we can actually run the server. Jar file server.jar. Oh, was I supposed to rename that? Or was I supposed to... Uh, jar... Well, maybe it should be different. Maybe it should be... Uh... Paper... That, okay. Let's try that instead and running the actual jar file in this directory. Oh, it's... Um... What? Alrighty then. So, I have um, declared that whatever that Amazon Java thing I had installed wasn't working because all the errors were seemingly related to that. So, I currently have the um, just I reinstalled PyOS. I put the default JDK on there, and I'm just gonna see, it's not gonna work running the latest version of PaperMC, I don't think it will, but I'm just gonna see if I have a different set of errors this time. Oh, oh, yep, yep, it's actually working differently, so that, yeah, that Amazon thing was stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been compiled by a more recent version of the Java runtime. Okay. Alright, but we're getting further. So, what I'm going to do is... Back over somewhere. Um, so, in theory, I should just be able to download a newer version of the OpenJDK. Uh, is it frozen? Still trucking along there. All right. Oh, nope. It's doing something. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Java. Java version 21. Uh, this is not a bug or a crash. And why is it red? Can't keep up. This is server overloaded. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's just um, see if I can even log into it. Go. Okay, so I am now God. So clearly chunk loading isn't well. Although there is something else that you can do, which is basically um, somebody else mentioned that it's possible to basically pre-generate a world. Just have that hosted on the Raspberry Pi, so it doesn't have to do any of this chunk loading and stuff. I think the server might be... Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna run this command. I'm gonna modify it a little bit. It is slowly loading chunks. Um... I don't remember if this is faster or not, and, and I didn't include that footage in the original video, so... It is loading them though, and it's not immediately crashing. Um, so that's an improvement, I think. Just kinda slow. In a last ditch effort to make this work as well as I think it's going to, I have. So I installed a plugin called Chunky that will basically allow you to pre calculate chunks. It's what people in the comments are telling me in my previous video. Somebody said, oh, you can pre generate the chunks and therefore the CPU is not having to do anywhere near as much work while it's trying to, you know, run the server. So I've done that. Using my little Raspberry Pi 5 right here, I pre-generated a thousand chunk radius. I tried doing it on the 3, but it just, it wasn't having it. <laughs> um, it was barely able to run the server as is, so... Yeah. Um, so I pre-generated that. It didn't take too long. It took about, I don't know, half an hour. I went and I reduced the render distance to 4, and the simulation distance to 2. <laughs> 
Oops. <laughs> I completely typoed that one. <laughs> I meant to type raspberry, but I typed in raspbert. <laughs> in the raspbert pi 3. Whoops. And two players, so those connections uh, work. So, click on it. It still says it's overloaded there, so. Yep, not a whole lot we can do about that, but in theory, um, it's the time so I don't know. Okay, that's working. Okay. So that's, I mean, it's seems to be working. Oh yeah, look at that, it's loading the chunks that I generated. That's actually working now. I can fly around. Um, yeah! Wow, this chunk generation thing is huge! Actually generating a reasonable... Yeah, look, it's loading our way. Oh, this is totally usable now! Alright, so once you optimize it to the... to the nth extreme... Now, this is gonna mean that, um, so say if you're actually gonna use this as, you know, a proper server with a proper single-player world... Um, uh, if you're trying to like, I don't know, grow crops or whatever, if you go more than, you know, two chunks away, those crops are going to be paused, so not really going to work all that great. But if all you want to do is explore and have like a little kind of creative world like this, then that'll be fine. Look at that, I mean, I can break these blocks. I'm trying to use a trackpad here, so it's awkward, but, um, you know. I can, I can break blocks, but if I try to place some... Okay, let's crash the server. Um, <laughs> it's our final act. What we did last time... Eventually those commands will take hold. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. It figured it out. Eventually. Uh, I need tools. There we go. Tools, flint and steel. Alright. I'm going to light it from the top, I think, and we're going to see how many of these explode. Oops. Break it. Nope. Alright. And we crash the server in 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh. Oh. Okay, well now we're noticing some problems. Um... Oh no, the explosions are just delayed. Okay. Um, it's interesting. It didn't crash the server. It just uh, decided to defer those explosions until it was able to calculate them, I guess? How about picking up item drops? Okay. Well, I really thought that would crash the server, but it didn't. Wow. Impressive. And this is, this is working. All right, this is enough. Okay. I'm not gonna blow up the whole cave, that's gonna take for... But, um, uh-oh. Oh, it, um, interesting. It's like unplacing my blocks. Maybe I've been placing them too fast, or maybe it's not really as stable as I thought it was. Um, maybe that's what happens when it actually updates. It's like, uh, all right. Blow it all up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, it's going. It's going. Doing it. Typically this one. Explosions. Ah. It's going. It's going. It did it. <laughs> It did it! Man, that was a much bigger explosion than before. I sure thought that would have done it, but... It, it handled it! Probably way too far away from my microphone <laughs> for most of that. Oh no, there's still more explosions! <laughs> it's just deferred them. Performance on this system has no business running Minecraft this well. Oh, okay. That did it! <laughs> Yep, okay. Nope. It that that did that it was on the it was on the bleeding edge. 
All right, time for a conclusion. All right, so running a Minecraft server on a Raspberry Pi 3 is technically possible if you mod the heck out of it. So running paper MC server file, running a bajillion uh, launch options in order to optimize it, and uh, chunk pre-generation. So if you do those three things, so run paper MC, uh, a bajillion optimization flags and render out a big old pre-generate a big old radius of chunks then it'll just barely work i think another problem that we were running into was the one gigabyte of ram i think that just was not enough ram and that's why it was crashing as well but i mean yeah if you optimize the heck out of it you can just about get it to run and in terms of um, running better on older hardware, so again, as we saw in the beginning of the video, running it natively on the subject, so running Minecraft natively, it was all right. It was kind of in the 20s to 30s. If you bump the graphics all the way down to the minimum and you know turn all the simulation and render distance all the way down, you can get a 60 frames per second out of it, but just barely on that really potato computer, but when it was connected to the Raspberry Pi 3, uh, client-side performance was perfect. No matter what I did, I can just zoop around as fast as I want, I can fly, I can do whatever. Um, so yeah, that verified my claim from the previous video that running a, uh, using a low-end PC to connect to a low-end server will indeed make client-side performance basically flawless. So, yeah. Combining the horsepower together will work to make your experience better. So, that's about it. Bye!